The ability to make templates inside of a database and inside of a Notion page using the Notion template button is one of the biggest reasons I started using Notion in the first place for task and project management. In a previous video, I showed you how to build a second brain inside of Notion, building five different databases. Now in this video, what I want to do is go through the templates inside of those databases and show you how you can make some of those more automated processes. So as I start building a Notion, I'm gonna go slash table to add in a database, and I'm going to call this tasks. This could be actions, it could be things to do. You can name it how you want, I'm gonna name it tasks. And I'm also going to create another database called projects. This could be content, this could be ideas, this could be anything that you're working on. The reason I've done tasks and projects is to match up with the other video. So now that we have some tasks and we have some projects, what I'm now going to do is I'm going to make a relation between the two databases. So I'm going to come in here and this one I'm going to name tasks because I'm in the projects database. I'm going to call it tasks because it's now going to go to the tasks database. Now I have lots of different task databases so I'm going to look at the correct page. So I'm going to go all the way down and try and find it. Now I did just add a one on the end because I couldn't quite find it. So I've now got task one related. Most of you won't need to do that because you'll have the database show up. So now we have the task relation. I'm going to rename this project. So I now have my tasks and my projects related. I'm going to get rid of this property because we don't need it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the projects database, go over to the blue button, click down on the arrow key, and I can add a template here. I can also go into any of the pages and create a template in here. Both of these do the exact same thing. And when you click on it, you can see you are editing a template in project. So this is the name of the database that I'm in and I'm what I'm doing is I'm creating a template. And this is a page that essentially when you push a button is going to duplicate everything in and on the page. So I go project template. So I've now named this. If I come out of this, you can see it hasn't added a page in the database. What it has done though, is it's added it here. So this is a template page of the database. And I'm now going to edit that. If I add an icon, it will now show that icon and that icon will be consistent whenever I push the button to use the template. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come into here and I'm actually going to copy the link of this database. If you are in the browser, you will need to copy the link of the database. If you are in the app like I am, you can right click, copy link, and then paste it into the page, create linked database. If you are in the browser, what you'll do is you'll come into here, come into the six dots, go copy link, and I've done the exact same thing. So I can come back into my template and then paste it into the page and it will give me the same options as before. But I've already got it, so I don't need it in there again. Now that I have this database in here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a filter. And this is the same as what I did in the building a second brain video. I'm going to add a self-referenced filter. So you can see this is the project relation because we are in the linked version of a task database and I'm filtering for the project relation contains project template. So what I'm doing is I'm filtering for the template in the database. And what this means is whenever I add this template in, this will be filtered for the name of that template. So at the moment, project contains project template. If I now come into here, add this page, there is the template. All of the templates will be listed. I can add a new one or just have an empty page. If I add this template in, there we go. It's untitled because it doesn't have a name. I'm going to call this... Uh, project one because I'm because it is the same as the one there you go really original now when I come into the filter it's filtered for project one if I then change this to project two the filter will also change to project two because it's self-referenced the reason the reason this is useful is when we now come into the template of our project we can now make some pages. And the reason we're gonna make these pages is we can drag them into this database afterwards. So I'm going to say that making a video, there are certain stages to the video, so there are certain tasks I need to do. Research is going to be one of those tasks. Scripting is another one of those tasks. Uh, recording, editing, etc., etc. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn these into pages. I used Control Shift 9 on my keyboard 
on Windows. If you're a Mac, I believe it's Command 9, Command Shift 9, I believe. Um, if not, what you can do is you can come to the side, turn into, and then turn into page there. There are lots of other options you can use. And now I'm going to drag these to the side. So I'm going to make them as columns just so it's easier and it doesn't fill up so much space because when you have lots of tasks, it can fill up a lot of space in the page. So now I have these pages of tasks. And what I can do is I can come into this page and I can add a to-do list. You can go slash to-do and add a checkbox or you could go the two square brackets and add the checkbox is up to you. So when I'm researching, maybe I'm gonna use something like TubeBuddy or vidIQ as tools. When I'm researching things for YouTube, I have links in those in the description below if you're curious. Now when I come back to this page, I have this task and it has stuff in it. If I then come back to our, our dashboard over here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to refresh this template. So I'm going to get rid of this and I get this option back again. So I'm going to push the template and now it's going to give me a new version of that template because we've added in these pages. Now what I can do is I can click and drag across all of these tasks and drag them down into the task database. And you can see they already have that project to relation because of the self-referenced filter we have. That's the name. And all of these tasks are related to the project. So when I make a new project, all of those tasks will be there brand new. So if I come into this task database, there we go. There's all those projects. There, there's all those tasks with that project. And there is the tick boxes. Now if I say and say I want to make another project, I'm going to make this one a video. So I have video in there and it's now generating that template. So it's generating, it's duplicating those tasks again. So here's the research, scripting, re uh, record, edit. I'm gonna drag them down and now it's related to video. So even though I have two research tasks, you can see they have, oh, let's make that a little bit bigger so you can see. Even though I have research twice, they're related to different projects. So if I then change this, because this is my preference, I personally prefer to see my task in a list view, just out of viewing preference. I can then come into here, go properties, show project. And now I can see, okay, these are all the video, video tasks. These are all the project two tasks. These are tasks that don't have a project. And that will be consistent all the way through. Another benefit of using templates inside of a database, so let's come up here, edit, is if, for example, I want to add something in here, let's add something into the tasks or add something into the projects, I can set that up in here. So as an example, when we are making a published video, I'm going to come into my task database, I'm gonna add a property and I'm gonna call it tag. I'm going to use the select property in there and I'm gonna go publish. So I now have a publishing tag on scripting. I don't want it on scripting. Um, but that's now an option. So if I want to tag, say, a person, I could put the person in here. I could tag anything inside the task database. But I want that to be templated. So every time I generate that project, that person will be tagged to the task. So I'm now going to come back into I pro back into the project database. I'm actually going to get rid of this filter for the moment because what it's currently doing is filtering for that thing. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit this task. So I'm going to drag it down. It's now in the task database. So now when I'm in the task, in the template, I can come in, I can put publish in there. I'm gonna go back. That was a shortcut on my keyboard, control and then the back bracket key. So I'm now back in the project template. I have my research task here that has a publish tag on it. I'm now gonna drag it out of that database. So it's now a preset task. I'm now going to add the filter back in. So add filter, add filter name, so I'm picking the property, I want the project property, and I'm going to self-reference through project template, not either of these, project template. Now, when I come and create a new project, I click on the project template, and I'm going to say a podcast. When this template is generated, it's going to give me those tasks, and I'm gonna come across, drag and drop them in, and you see that published task is already there because it was preset in the page inside the template page. So you can tag a person, you can tag a date, you can set any specific information in that page, in that task, when you set the template up. Another example of using templates inside of Notion is using the template button. So we go slash template, you can see 
there's a template button. Now this works completely different to Notion database templates. This is a button that you push that generates a certain amount of blocks, databases, or pages. I have done another video explaining more in depth about this template, but very basically, if you have any sort of block, you can create uh, a heading block. So heading one, and you can make as many things as you want. So let's just get rid of this one for the moment. And we're going to put in a couple of headings, say script in there. Then when you name this, say template or push me, and you close that up. When you push this button, it's going to basically duplicate and spit out all of those blocks. And the reason it's gone underneath this button, this is something to note, is because there's no blocks underneath it. So if I, oh, let's get rid of that. If I push control A, you can see all of the blocks. Now, currently there is no block underneath this template button. So if I push it, it's going to throw the blocks above it. If I then add a block underneath the template button and then push it, it's now gonna throw the blocks underneath it. That's one of the nuances using the template button you may want to think about when using it in the page. But if you want to hear more about a template button inside of Notion, make sure you check out this video over here and I will see you in the next video.